Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to the South Patera channel. Now, if you caught our last video on the VIFP program, you know about Carnival's loyalty that they give to customers who come back to Carnival over and over again. If you missed that, I'll link it right up above in the cards. I'll also put it down in the description down below. But let's say you're not a frequent travel on Carnival and you still want the same benefits as a platinum or diamond member. Ever wonder how you can get it? Well, Carnival has a thing they call Faster to the Fun. It's a little bit controversial because those who have earned that membership level don't seem to like it, but you can actually purchase a lot of those benefits with the Faster to the Fun program. And we'll come back and tell you all about it right after this. Okay guys, welcome back. Now today, we're gonna to talk about Carnival's Faster to the Fun program. It basically gives you most of the benefits that the Platinum and Diamond returning members get, except you don't have to be Diamond or Platinum. But first, before we get into what the benefits of it are, let me explain that, first of all, it's not free. You have to purchase Faster to the Fun, but only one person in your cabin has to purchase it, and the entire cabin gets it. Now you do purchase it by going into the fun store at carnival.com, the same place where you fill out all your passport information, and print out your luggage tats, etc. There you can actually purchase the Faster to the Fun program. Now, while I personally have never seen anybody not be able to buy it, officially Carnival limits this program on how many can buy it. So if you go in to buy it, it's possible that it could say it's sold out for your particular sailing. Although again, like I said, I've never seen anybody not have it available. Also, there are certain ports and certain ships that do not have it at all. And we're gonna go through that right now as we talk about pricing. Okay, the pricing for Faster to the Fun depends on your cruise and your ship. Sailing's three days, excluding the Carnival Liberty where it's not available, it's $49.95. Three day cruises on the Carnival Liberty is $59.95. Four day cruises on the Imagination, Inspiration, and Sensation are $49.95. Four day cruises on the Elation, Fantasy, and Victory are $59.95. Four day cruises on the Conquest, Ecstasy, Liberty, Paradise, Sunshine, Triumph, Valor, and Vista are $69.95. And just as a note, the graph you see on the screen right now is actually on Carnival's website. And I just noticed Carnival has a misprint on there and they actually have the ship called the Carnival Sunrise. It's actually the Carnival Sunshine. Now, five day cruise on the Sensation, $59.95. Five day cruise excluding the Carnival Sensation is $79.95. And all six and seven day cruises, $89.95 and eight days or longer, excluding Carnival Journeys Departures. They're not available at all on Carnival Journeys Departures, is $99.95. Hey guys, we're gonna interrupt the video just for a moment. We'll get right back to the faster to the fun stuff, but just wanted to tell you some exciting things we're doing here on the channel. First of all, we're gonna start getting great cruise-related t-shirts made, and we'll be offering to you guys dirt cheap, a lot less than what most creators offer their t-shirts for. It's a great way to support our channel. We should have those in about two weeks, and we'll start posting them. Also, we've opened up a Patreon account. Now, if you don't know what Patreon is, it's a way for you to give a small donation to financially support our channel and keep us going so we can come up with new videos on a regular basis. And there are some benefits and different levels as well. I'm gonna link that up in the cards as well as a link down below in the description. And over the next few weeks, we have lots of great videos planned and we have more ships we're gonna be going on making new videos and we look forward to sharing with you. Now, if you can't afford anything financially to support us, hey, I get it and I completely understand. Please, at least hit that subscribe button down below. It's totally free for you to subscribe and boy, it really does mean the world to us. Now, let's get back to the video. So, what do you get for your extra money? Well, I have to tell you, I'm a platinum sailor and I love my platinum benefits. So, as much as I think it's kind of unfair that Carnival sells the benefits that other people have earned, I will say that if you can afford the faster to the fun, it is definitely, definitely worth it. The first thing you're gonna get is priority security check-in and boarding. That means when you get to the pier and you see those long lines to get in and get through security, it's not gonna work that way for you. You're gonna have a special line, a much shorter line to go through, a special waiting area, and you will get on board the ship 
as soon as they start loading the ship after it's cleared customs, right behind the diamond and platinum members, but far in advance of the general boarding. Now you also get first access to your stateroom. Generally, depending on the ship, once you get on board, any carry-on luggage that you brought, you have to keep with you. If you go up to eat, you keep it with you, and your room is ready between one and three o'clock, depending on the ship. And that's when you're able to get to your stateroom to bring your luggage down. And they do that because the carnival room stowage need a little bit of time to overturn those thousands of rooms on board the cruise ship. Well, when you're faster to the fun, you can get to your stateroom immediately. Your stateroom will be ready to go for you, made as soon as you get on the ship. So when the door says, you know, no customers beyond this point, you can go right past it, go directly to your room, put all your things down, and it's nice not to have to wander around the ship with all of your luggage in your hands. You also get priority luggage. Now priority luggage is kind of neat. This is for the luggage that you actually check in at the pier. They're gonna put priority faster to the fun tags on your luggage, and that means that once you board the ship, usually you wait for your luggage over the course of the evening, and it can come anytime up until 10 o'clock at night, and they leave your bags outside your stateroom door. When you're faster to the fun, they put you in a, your luggage in a special bin so they get delivered first. So normally with faster to the fun, you'll get your luggage really quick. And one of the best things about Faster to the Fun is you will get a special telephone number and a special line to contact guest services on board the ship. So on board the ship, especially on the first day and the last day when the lines can be huge to get into guest services, you'll have a much shorter line. It's typically only two or three people um, to the side of the regular line. You'll also have a special phone number. I'm not gonna give that number here because then everybody will know what it is, where you have much, much faster access to guest services on board the ship. That benefit alone, I can promise you, is worth the price. The next thing you get is priority dining reservations. So if you need that six o'clock dining time or you need that specialty restaurant dining time, while you don't get the same priority as the platinum or diamond members, you get the priority right behind them before the general boarding of uh, the passengers. So if you need that specialty dining time, you're much, much more likely to get the time that you want if you purchase faster to the fun. Now, if you've traveled Carnival before, you know that in some ports, the cruise ship doesn't pull directly up to the dock. In some ports, you have to take a tender, which is a smaller boat, to get ashore. Well. With the faster to the fun, you get priority tendering. That means while, again, the general passengers will wait in one line to get on a tender, you'll have a much shorter line to get on another tender that's just for high VIFP members and faster to the fun purchasers. It's also great on the last day of the ship where you will get a de-embarkation choice. That means that you won't necessarily have to wait until your floor is called to get off the ship when you're wanting to go home. You'll get a special place that you can wait and you can choose to get off the ship much earlier than everybody else, or you can do what everybody else does and you can wait and get off the ship last. You don't have to get off first, but it's nice to have that opportunity. Now, a couple things to remember. First, the faster to the fun is a price that is for the entire cabin. Only one person in the cabin has to buy it and you do get it for everybody in the cabin. If you're sailing on two cruises, like a back-to-back -back cruise, you'll need to purchase faster to the fun for each cruise. It's not gonna carry over just because you're staying on board. Next, you cannot purchase faster to the fun once you're on board. You have to purchase it on the website prior to going to the ship, and I believe it's 48 hours beforehand. If you don't, you won't be able to get it once you notice how long the line is to get on the ship. Also, as a faster to the fun purchaser, you must check in at a select arrival appointment, which means they'll put on your ticket what time that faster to the fun on that ship and that port you should arrive at the pier. Getting there early really isn't gonna help you because you're already gonna have an earlier time and they will make you wait until your time once you get to the pier. Now this is probably pretty important. If you've already printed out your luggage tags and then you purchase the faster to the fun afterwards, you need to make sure you go back in and reprint your luggage tags because the original luggage tags will not have that you had the faster to the fun on it. And then when they get it to the ship, your luggage won't get priority luggage. And lastly, this is important for our platinum and diamond members. While I'm sure most of you know what platinum and diamond is because you've sailed so many, just to be sure, you do not need to purchase faster to the fun if anybody in your cabin is platinum or diamond. 
because you already get all the faster to the fun uh, things that they give you when you're platinum or diamond, so you really don't need to purchase it. Okay guys, and that's the faster to the fun program. See, you can be treated like platinum or diamond, and you don't even have to have all those cruises in order to do it. It's kind of controversial though, because a lot of people, myself included, when they first came out with the program, felt kind of like we earned those benefits by having hundreds and hundreds of days sailed with Carnival, and now anybody can just buy those benefits. But I do see Carnival's reasoning behind it, and I understand Carnival has to make some money as well, and it's not like it's not a paid for service, it's not like they're just giving it away for free. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in a couple days with a new one. Again, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Also like it and share it on your social media if you're so inclined. Boy, would we appreciate it. See you next time.